Here's my 1999 Ford Explorer. I'm, uh, I'm going to be changing out the throttle position sensor on this uh, vehicle because I have an open in my signal wire. When I do my throttle sweeps, which means it's a bad throttle position sensor. Uh, it works for the most part, but as you get up towards the higher end of it, there's an open. And I plan on showing you guys how to test one of these. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm using is just a uh, Fluke 87 multimeter. I have my ignition turned on in the in the uh, in the car so that I have power. Engine's not running, but I have. Uh, I'm actually using a back probe kit. This uh, Lyle back probe kit, 17 piece. Uh, right now I have the way my meter works. Uh, very handy I can unplug these and normally I have that plugged in but I just unplug that and I put my back probe in very handy little tool I'm using the angle one they actually have uh, different ones some are straight some are angled some are uh, this really neat little kit they have different sizes uh, and different thicknesses for different size back probing. Pretty ha pretty handy little kit. I think I gave like I don't know 20 bucks for it on eBay. But anyway, <coughs> to do these tests, basically there's three wires here. There is a power and a ground and a signal wire. Okay. In order to check all of these, I have my my common wire from my meter doesn't really matter you can use either one you want to but the polarity will be changed but uh anyway got my common probe hooked to my negative and i'm gonna first thing i'm gonna check is the uh, is the ground which is this very top wire the red and gray wire i believe is is a ground wire um, when you do these checks you you want to leave it plugged in uh, and back probe it so that current's flowing. If you unplug this and then check it, uh, you might not, you might get burned on that. If you have high resistance in your wire, it'll show good and it really will be bad. So if you unplug it, you want to use a test light. But I'm back probing it, so let me just uh, in here. Nice little tool. Okay. And on my meter right now, I'm showing 0 0.037 volts or 37 millivolts, which is a good reading for a ground. I'm reading a only 0.37, I'm sorry, only 0 0.037 volts volt drop in my ground circuit, which is good. You want to see, you don't want anything over 200 millivolts. The closer to zero is better. But this is showing a 37 millivolt volt drop for this for from this cable to ground so that's perfect like i said if you see something over 200 millivolts you want to investigate you probably have high resistance in the wire but anyway that's a good reading so my ground circuit is good i'm going to go check my power signal which is the the bottom one Okay. All right, and back probe plugged in. I have five volts, five volts, 5.04 volts to ground, which is good. So now I'm going to check my signal wire. Okay, that should be the middle wire. My power wire looks like it's brown and white, which was good. I'm going to check my looks like gray and white. Should be my signal wire. Oh, not getting a good reading. Try this again. Get in there. Alright. I'm in there now. Alright. 
point, that's almost reading one volt on the signal wire. Ford is a little different. They like their voltage on this particular model to be set around 0.96, I believe. So it's pretty close to it. But just so you know, I mean, it's a, uh, it's almost a volt on these things, which I thought was different when I first saw that. When I first saw that, I was like, man, I got a problem on this. I got too high a voltage at idle. But that's where, apparently that's where Ford likes it, around 0.96. And you can search some forums on the internet, they'll verify that. That's what I did. But anyway, here's the test I want to do to show you guys why this is bad. I'm going to uh, manipulate my throttle right here just by, and I'm going to read this signal wire while it's going. And you'll see my, you'll see it open. See, I'm going slow. It's reading good, reading good, reading good. And then up near the higher end, oh, boom. See that OL? See that doing that weird jumping? OL. 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 See that? That's a bad, that means there's a break in my resistor. OL. And then it goes back. It's just, it's just one little bad spot. And you know, for some people, they might not care about that one little bad spot. But I don't know. I do, so I'm, I know it's bad, so I'm going to change it. Uh, but that's how you can test it. You can do this with a scan tool. If you have a scan tool, you can just, you know, hook up your scan tool, look at the voltage on the scan tool and do this, but you can also do it with a meter. But checking my signal, that's an idle, partial throttle, partial throttle, going towards wide open throttle and up, up, oh, there it goes, popped up oh, right there. Oh, oh well, and that's as high as it goes, about 4.5. So, up, oh, open right there. Oh well, I'm trying to get it to stay on the OL, but I can't. So there's a little break in there. You don't want to see any opens when you're cycling your throttle. See, I'm just going slow and ripping at the signal wire. And there's an open right there. That tells me that it's bad. So I'm gonna. Get, that's what I wanted to show you guys. And now I'm just gonna. I'm gonna unplug this. I'm just gonna unplug this. Pull these two screws out and pop a new one on. Here is my uh, replacement. It's a Motorcraft. Uh, there's the uh, information on it. They're calling it a potentiometer, which is really what it is. But, as you can see, they look exactly the same. So it should work. But I'm going to change those out. That's where I'm at. I'm changing it out because it just because it read and opened it. Push on this. There's two Phillips heads. They look kind of stripped out. Man, that's not good. Went to the hardware store and I got some new bolts. And uh, I, I didn't get any with stupid freaking Phillips head screws. I got actual bolts. So I'm going to use these when I, they're the same length, they're 30 millimeter. This is a 5 millimeter by 30 by 0 0.80 thread pitch, in case you want to replace those. But uh, I'm going to throw this thing in. See on the back here there's a little part that slips in. This little part here fits over this little piece here. So see how it turns. 
Well, you want it to go in like that. Plug this back in. And I'm going to retest it. Okay. And check my ground again. You got, that's a good ground. 0 0.038. I'm going to check my power. Uh, good power, 5 volts. Signal wire now. Reading about 0.96. It's very close. Let me cycle through. See if I find any opens again. I'll be well apparently the new one has the same thing that's uh my good maybe that's something that Ford's supposed to have Oh well.